So Sona was swearing in today, soon it will be Mamta Banerjee's turn. The last time she was sworn in as Chief Minister, Buddhadev Bhattacharji had gone for her swearing in. But this time, both the left and the Congress may skip Friday's function. Their reason? Post-poll attacks across the state by the ruling party Trinamool. The BJP too says it will not show up. One person died at Birbhum. Kokon Sheikh took a bullet in the thigh. By the time he was taken to hospital, it was too late. He lived at Nanur, site of a bloody fight between Trinamool factions. One faction set this Trinamool office on fire. A rare sight, according to the left and Congress. The Trinamool has been attacking their workers, they say, and sought the governor's help. <laughs> The BJP too on the streets to protest Trinamool attacks. On Sunday, Rupa Ganguly was manhandled. West Bengal is uh, under flames. Entire West Bengal, the post-poll violence has erupted across the state. And the Chief Minister and the government of West Bengal is sitting and taking no action. This government, it seems, is a government of uh, Gundaraj. Uh, the Trinamool seemed surprised about such claims. I have not heard of any post-poll violence. There is peace everywhere. But the governor has written to Mamta Banerjee on the law and order situation. She, of course, is preparing for a grand swearing in on Friday. As of now, the state leadership of all opposition parties has vowed to stay away. In Kolkata, with Saurav Gupta, Monidipa Banerjee, NDTV.